one of today's artists is Salvador Dali, who you've definitely heard of because we did him this year. So Salvador Dali, 1929 to 1989. Art movement, surrealism. The surrealists made art inspired by their dreams. Salvador Dali was one of these artists. He called his paintings hand-painted dream photographs. They often included detailed landscapes filled with bizarre objects. A good example of this is The Persistence of Memory, 1931, which began as a traditional painting of the sea, beach and rocks at Port Ligat, a fishing village on the Spanish coast. Remembering the melting camembert cheese he'd eaten earlier, Daddy decided to add some soft pocket watches, a table and a face-like shape. Paintings like this became Daly's signature style. He often included body parts propped up on sticks or creatures that morphed into the landscape. Daly's private life sometimes mirrored the surrealism of his paintings. Sporting a twirling moustache and outrageous costumes, he attracted attention wherever he went. Unlike many artists, he became an international celebrity in his lifetime. He is buried in a crypt in the Dali Theatre and Museum, which was designed by the artist himself. And Bridget Riley, 1931 to present day, and her art movement is known as op art, so optical art. English artist Bridget Riley is one of the foremost exponents of op art, short for optical art, which uses abstract and geometric shapes to create optical illusions. With the outbreak of the Second World War, the young Riley moved to Cornwall and spent a lot of time looking at the sea. It was said to have been a major influence on her later work. She was also very influenced by the art of Georges Surat, who used a technique called pointillism to create images with little dots of colour. I'd say you've definitely done that over the years in some class too. Riley is best known for her black and white paintings, such as Descending, above, which can produce a disorientating physical effect on the eye. When exhibited, her work has been known to induce seasickness in viewers. In 2008, one of her paintings sold for over £2.5 million. That's almost €3 million. Euro.